Y'all, we got the Air Max 97, the silver bullets. We got them early. But we also got them from StockX. What's good, family? It's your boy Sykes, and you are looking live at another episode of Special Delivery. Thank you so much for rocking with us today, man. We really appreciate you. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash that notification bell so y'all can know whenever the fire content is coming on this channel. And we got a lot of that. But today, with these shoes right here in this box, we actually have a lot of questions. So these shoes right here are reportedly or allegedly, I guess I should say, the Silver Bullet Air Max 97s that are supposed to come out in November. But the thing about them is that we actually think that these are probably fake. Like I'm, I'm like 85% sure that they're fake at this point. And, and look, this is not a thing for special delivery. We do not buy fake shoes on this show, but we really wanted the Air Max 97s. We really wanted the Silver Bullets and we saw them on StockX and we're like, yo, like, should we take the chance? And we did it. And we knew that they could possibly be fake sneakers. And if they were fakes and we were gonna try to send them back, but we got them. And after looking at them, I don't really feel like I could trust these that much. So we gonna go over some of these details and I'm gonna tell you why I think these joints are actually fake. And we're also gonna talk about how a situation like this can come up with these, these uh, third party resellers. But before we dive into that, y'all know the vibes, man. We gotta unbox these things as hard as that might be. So let's dive into it. So before we actually looked at the shoes, the the thing that threw me off with this joint was actually this box right here. So if you look at this box, just cleanly looking at it, this looks like the, the box that the original Air Max 97 Silver Bullets came in. Like this, this looks like that box. It's pretty much perfectly that box. But the thing is like this joint looks kind of old and dingy, right? And this is supposed to be a new pair of sneakers, which immediately threw me off with these joints. It's like, okay, like I understand if Nike is, you know, using the OG uh, look on the, the 97 box to give you that OG feel with the pair that's supposed to come in 2022 for the 25th anniversary, like that would be cool. But because this, this box looks so old and it's so beat up, I just immediately had questions about it. And then also these tags right here, like to me, they just don't really look legit to me. It's like, the, the UPC codes and everything on them are, I mean, they match the sneakers, but I, I don't know. It's something about the font that is just off with me on this joint right here, especially. And then I have no clue what this is right here. So immediately my my ears went up, the red flags are waving in the wind, like whatever you want to talk about. Like I, I am just very, very cautious with these joints right there. I, I should say very skeptical about these joints right now. So, so let, let's crack these open. I'll explain why my skepticism was, was validated with these. So, I mean, okay, you look at them, they look like 97s. Like these look like silver bullet 97s. Just, I mean, I honestly, like it, it's, it kind of leaves me speechless how like, authentic these joints actually look to the naked eye right here. But then when you really dig into the details of these shoes, you, you kind of see that there are some flaws here. So originally we looked at things like the, the air pressure in this air bubble, the full length air bubble that you have in the, uh, the midsole of the 97 right here. And that checked out, you know, the, the, the reflective material on the bars on the upper also checked out. This font back here on the uh, the pool tab right here, that checked out to us. I mean, everything pretty much looked good until we started to look at the swooshes on both the lateral and the medial side of both pairs right here. So the thing about these swooshes is that you can see right here on this shoe, on the right shoe, there's not a lot of space between this swoosh right here, the mini swoosh that you have on the lateral side, uh, the bars right here that you have on the upper. Like there's no space, there's, there's absolutely none almost. Then you look at the left shoe right here, there is a ton of space right here between this swoosh and, and the uh, overlays on the upper right there, which immediately to me was, again, a, a big, big red flag. And then when you look at the way that these bars are actually spaced out on both of the shoes right here, there's a lot less space between the tip of the toe right here on this shoe and the bar right here on the toe box 
than this one right here. Like you can see the, the differences in the space when you really, really look at it and take a look. So I personally think that that makes these fake. Like it, it, I guess it could be just like a factory defect pair or something like that. But generally you would see a lot of the same dimensions on these shoes and, and you just don't really have those matching dimensions here. And then even when you get to the stitching on the upper, right? Like this is supposed to cut straight, uh, actually not even straight through this swoosh, but it does. So, so you see like it, there, there's a stitch, a stitch right here on the upper overlay where this 3M reflector material is. It goes right through this swoosh right here. That's not supposed to happen. We watched a bunch of videos on authentic pairs of Air Max 97s to validate this. And then you can see on this one, there's actually, this swoosh is a little bit further back. This is closer to the authentic look that the swoosh is supposed to have. So. I don't know, man. I think these are fake personally. And you see, we kept that StockX tag on. So we're going to try to send these back. Hopefully we can get our money back for these joints. But man, like this is just, I, I don't know. It's, it's really weird. Like I find myself asking like how these get through any check system, how these get through any authentication system. And it, it's kind of disappointing. But then when I really thought about it, how this is possible, it kind of makes sense. And it kind of can happen and it happens a lot actually with a bunch of different third-party resellers so let's talk about how we got here all right y'all all right so so i know i just said that this pair is fake but look we me, me and Ev, we we we, we didn't know, we still didn't know even after we recorded the first part of this video. So we reached out to the sneaker community looking for help to determine whether this pair was indeed fake like we thought that they were. And a lot of people are giving us feedback that no, actually, this is a legit pair of Silver Bullet 97s. Now, I hit one person in particular, the OG Brother D, y'all know him as Brother D on Twitter, but his name is Daryl Glover, big shouts to him. Dude has thousands of shoes, so if I'm gonna listen to anybody, it's definitely gonna be him. And he said that these pairs right here, or this pair right here, is legit. He didn't question the shoes at all. The only question that he had was really about the box and the tags on the box. And he says that they match up with the legit pair that he knows exists out there. So, with that being said, if he says that they're real, then they're real, man. Like, I, I don't know, man. I, I still have my questions about these joints. But as far as the, the differences in space between the swooshes, he said that that's a common thing with Air Max 97s. It really seems like more of a Nike problem than a, a StockX or an Authenticator problem. So that's why that would pass through seamlessly. I don't know, I just think it's kind of weird, man, because this is just, I, I, I'm, I'm skeptical still a little bit because we've seen this happen before where there are no reference pairs out there for Authenticators at whatever secondary market platform to compare a shoe to and you get sold a fake pair because of it. We actually saw it earlier this year because of what happened with New Balance's Protection Pack 2002R. I think they were supposed to come out earlier this year. A lot of people were selling them on the secondary market. There were no reference pairs out this summer in like June, July around that time. And because of that, there was nothing to really check to see what the, the authentic pairs actually look like. And people got sold fake pairs from StockX, from GOAT, from all of these different platforms. And I was afraid that that's what was happening with these joints right here, because there's no Air Max 97 Silver Bullet pairs out yet. And all we really have about these joints are actually rumors at this point. So I didn't know if this shoe was actually coming out or not. And for us to be able to get these off of StockX early for the price that we did, it was like, might be a little bit too good to be true, but apparently not, man. Apparently these joints are legit, but this whole exercise, everything that we just did, this is a common risk that you run by going to the secondary market. But let's talk about that a little bit because I, I feel like people don't, don't give this part enough justice. So look, man, whenever you're using a secondary market platform, there's always going to be a risk that you run with these, whether it's StockX or whether it's Gold or eBay or the mom and pop store down the street. Whatever store you're going to, if there's not, if it's not coming directly from the retailer, then there's a risk that the shoe might be a fake sneaker. And look, StockX says that they have a 92% or something like that uh, accuracy rate when it comes to their authentication, which is really good. But 
the end of the day, it's not perfect. And of course it's not. There are humans who are authenticating these sneakers. And whenever there's humans involved, there's always bound to be human error. And we have to account for that. You have to understand that when you're buying these sneakers. So look, it's okay. Like if you, if you get sold a fake, all right, cool. Like obviously you're not gonna be happy, but at the end of the day, you can dispute that. You can go back to them. And I know like sometimes, a lot of times actually, they're not really that receptive to that. But hey man, like it, it, it happens. It's a part of the game. And that's kind of the thing. That's kind of the theme here. The game is the game. And, and you, you kind of sometimes have to, you know, be your own authenticator like we tried to do. And, and I think we failed to do here. But anyway, man, that's a wrap for special delivery. I'm your boy Sykes. And this is the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet, I think. But anyway, we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.